Hi, I'm Stuart Shepard. This is Stoplight. What I saw in this 125-year-old book was a shock to my modern brain. We were wandering through some antique shops in Castle Rock, Colorado. In a dark corner of a nook with old books and teaching supplies, I found a textbook from 1890, Houston's Physical Geography. Its target audience was schools, academies, and colleges. From a late 1800s point of view, it describes the land, and the sea and the atmosphere. But here's what got me. At the very beginning of this textbook for public school boys and girls setting the stage for a scientific exploration of the planet was this gorgeous lithograph of mountains and sky, a deer by a stream, and this inscription, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. If that showed up in a textbook today, the printer at the Freedom From Religion Foundation would slightly overheat. But you know what? The founding fathers would call it a textbook example of what they wanted for schools. Fisher Ames wrote, Should not the Bible regain the place it once held as a school book? Its morals are pure, its examples captivating and noble. Did I mention that Ames co-wrote the First Amendment? What does that tell you about how it's being interpreted today? Benjamin Rush signed the Declaration of Independence right above Ben Franklin. He also defended using the Bible in school in full view of the fact that some students are Christian and some are not. I grant that many men have rejected the impressions derived from the Bible, but how much soever these impressions may have been despised, I believe no man was ever early instructed in the truths of the Bible without having been made wiser or better by the early operation of these impressions upon his mind. Just think about it. Consider what your worldview would be like if the intro to your geography textbook starts out by telling you that your entire life will be lived on a small planet in a modest solar system, a tumbling pebble in the cosmic stream. Then consider your worldview if you've at least pondered the idea that possibly, just maybe, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth.